Hey guys, it's Julie from Paleo MG. Today I am talking makeup. We're gonna do my makeup tutorial, my first makeup tutorial video. If it seems a little smoky in here, if I have bloodshot eyes, it's because I'm cleaning my oven and it keeps sending off the smoke alarm. So that's really fun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, today I'm going to be talking all about makeup, my favorite products. And all of this makeup you can find at Nordstrom, so I'll be linking it all below if you miss any of this. So the first thing I'm gonna start off with, I cleansed my face, I used all the products that I use daily, and I have a post all about that, um, just my skincare routine, I'll link that as well. So I'm gonna start with my favorite makeup, which is Jane Iredell, and I'm gonna be using this concealer. So I just use this under my eyes and any blemishes I have going on and I just use like a little concealer brush and I kind of mix the two together. So I'll just mark any of my blemishes as well as under the eyes. So I tend to have a little dark circles. Doesn't everybody right? So I put that under the eyes, blemishes, and then I'll just use a little Sponge, sponge. Next, I'm gonna use Jane Iredell. This is the Amazing Base Loose Powder. And I use the color Warm Silk, but you can really find what works for you. So this loose powder is awesome because you can use as little or as much as you'd like. And if you're uh, fighting blemishes, or acne, which I had really bad cystic acne before. This is awesome. So I'll just kind of put the powder in the lid and then tap my brush off a little bit just to get off some of the excess. And then I just like to work from the chin line and kind of go into my neck and work my way up. So you can use as little or as much as you like. And it's gluten free, so it doesn't like clog everything up. Ugh. Then I'm gonna use some of the bronzing uh, powder. And it's just a little bit darker of a powder. And I usually don't use this all over my face, but since my skin color is just kind of in between, still has a little color, summer color to it, um, but still lightening up every day, I'm still gonna use this all over my face. This is the Jane Iredell Pure Pressed Powder. I'm using caramel here, that's the color I'm using. Um, and it just gives you a little darker color and so I'm gonna do that all throughout and then I'm gonna use it to contour and by no means am I a professional with contour okay so next you're gonna keep that pure pressed powder and this time I like to use this kind of flat brush and you're gonna do it in the shadows of your face that's like the main thing with contouring and this is like minimal contouring but it gives your face some shape and dimension oh look at that word I know everything and then you're gonna go up the cheekbones here and then up on the forehead and then this angled brush is really helpful for the nose so I'll just do kind of a bit of the side in it dab it off and then I'll do right on the nose and you do on both sides so it's kind of like the line down your nose. It just, I don't know, makes your nose look better. I don't really know. We're hitting it. Okay. Next, blush. So just come right on the top of the cheekbones, kind of above where I did the contouring. Just need a little bit, not too much. It's not the old days here. Oh, yeah. I have this Jane Iredell highlighter, and so I like to do that right on the cheekbones. And I always think about the Kardashians. You always see this little highlight, you have a good old highlight right there, kind of bouncing off the sunlight, and it just makes your face glow. So you're gonna do that right there, and I kind of just dab it in a little bit, mix it in, so easy. After the face is done, I like to move on to the eyebrows. So I recently had my uh, eyebrows microbladed and loved it. If you want to see my post, 
I'll link that below too, but I still do like to fill them in a little bit. So I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. This is a medium brown color. I'm just using an angled brush. So I'm just gonna go straight up the eye. I like to start from the middle and work my way in and then do the end. So I just follow that hairline again from the top of my eyebrow, that little angle there, and just fill that in. And then I'll just finish filling the whole eyebrow in by just swooping up with my hairline. There we go. So you can see it's just a little bit more filled in than this one. Let's do the other one. So we have eyebrows, we have face, let's move on to the lids. I really love to use Urban Decay, this eyeshadow primer potion, such a mouthful. On point. Okay, so after that kind of sets for a second, I'm going to use this Urban Decay Naked Palette. I have three of these Naked Palettes and they are awesome. Okay, so what I like to do for my um, lid, I like to go light color and kind of go into the side of the eye here. So I'll just use the Virgin, using the Virgin color to start. And I'll just work it in to my lid here. Next, I'm gonna do Sin. Oh my gosh, these names are so fun. So, I'm gonna go up on the eyelid here and I'm kind of mixing it with what's on my lid right now with the virgin color. I just always wanna make sure I'm blending up and up and that just makes sure we don't have that like kind of harsh uh, color across the eye. And I'm blending, I'm blending. Next, I'm going to mix a little bit of the sidecar and naked. So kind of a sparkly brown and a lighter brown. And I'm gonna do that and blend that right in the ridge of my eyelid. So I'll do that right in the ridge here and then blend it outwards. So it'll be a little bit darker right in the ridge and then you can blend it out and it'll lighten up. So I'm gonna do this creep color, so it's almost like a dark gray. And I'm gonna mix that and just lightly tap my brush in it. We don't need too much. And then I'm gonna press right in the crease. And then, so you can see how dark it gets. And then I can start blending it again like I've done before. Blend it up, girl. Blend it up. Okay, cool. So got a nice little darker eye look. And then on top, I wanna do some just lightening up. Make sure it still kind of pops a little bit. And so I'm gonna mix that gin, gin, uh, not gin, sin and virgin, those two first colors that I did on my lid. I'm gonna mix those two together and then I'm gonna kinda go over the top here and give a nice little shine off the lid blending. I think blending really is a term of, I don't know what the heck I'm doing, but I'll figure it out and cover it up. Next, I love liquid eyeliner. I think liquid just stays the best throughout the day, so that's what I prefer. So really any liquid eyeliner will do whatever you prefer. I just like to get a really skinny brush. So I'll link a few that are super skinny that'll help you um, find which one works for you. Okay, so I'm gonna work from the inside and I'm just gonna start, not quite the closest to my eye. Let's start pretty close in and then I can work my way out. So I like to go pretty skinny towards the middle of the eye and then you can kind of build a little thicker line as you go. And I'll work my way pretty close to the end of my eye here. And then you're gonna start from the middle or the end of your eye here and go towards your line of your eyebrow. 
So that's a good follow um, and that'll help. A lot of people use like a sticky note so they can help that line. Um, but you'll just get better and better at it the more you do it. And then swoop. So you can see that little swoop I have. And then all you have to do is connect the line that you created on top of your eyelid to that line towards your eye. So I like to connect them in the middle so then you have that little extra line going out. Start in the inside. Work my way out. I think the second eye is always the hardest because you're trying to get it to look exactly like the first one. But again, the more you do it, the easier it gets. There we go. So what I like to use next is a white uh, pencil. So I like to do this in the inside of my eye, the inside of my eyelid. And this is just preference. You totally don't have to do this. Um, but it just makes your eye look a little bit bigger. Okay, next. I, before I put on lashes, I like to do just a little bit of mascara just to curl the eyelashes a little bit. Next, lashes. I think lashes make all the difference when it comes to makeup. Sometimes when I don't wanna do any makeup at all, like any eyeshadow, I just put on fake eyelashes and it looks like I'm trying. Secret tip. I like to cut my lashes, um, and you can use any you prefer. I'll link some of my favorites below, but I like to cut them a little bit shorter just because they just stay on my eye a little bit better. I have a hard time putting on lashes alone so this cuts them a little bit shorter so then they stop in the inside and it's just easier to put them on so you'll let it dry for a little bit and you'll see the color start to change and something that my friend recommended and I think is really helpful and I'll do it here which doesn't help you that much but is putting a mirror kind of down below and then looking down to put your eyelashes on a lot of times we look up and depending if and everybody's a little bit different, but depending if your eyelashes are kind of long or curlier, sometimes it can get stuck in the eyelashes. And so this keeps the eyelashes down and just makes it a little easier to get on. But if you're looking down, I like to try to hook it where I want it to be, right at the end of the eye, and then I can kind of move it over. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. There we go. It's a little hard, but we got it. I feel like some real makeup artists, they like put them on in seconds. Not me, not here, over here. Yay, lashes are done. Then I'll just take my mascara and just fill in my bottom lashes. Okay, last but not least, let's do a little bit of lips. I don't do a ton of lip stuff because I'm just lazy, but I love, love, love this Bare Minerals. This is the matte, their matte um, color, but it's called Juju, and I love it, and it smells really good too. Isn't that weird? It smells really good. A little natural, you could put some gloss on top of it if you like that, but that's it. Natural, now I just gotta do this hair. Maybe later. I hope that helped, guys. And I'll see you next time. Jackson, what are you doing? What are you doing? Jackson will hang out with us later. I've been using just a bigger, fluffy brush. I don't know all the brush terms and I have very few so stick with me. I'm obviously really good at explaining stuff. Oh Dougie are you pouting in the corner? He just wants attention. Do you want to say hi to Jackson? Because he wants to say hi. Oh my gosh this guy's so big. Little hunk of meat. You're so cute. Come on go away bird. Do you hear that? Why do I keep picking my nose?
so hungry. Ugh.